All right, welcome to another video. This is Jerry. In this video, we're gonna have a quick look at the 2021 or 2022, which is gonna be the same Kia Sorento. This particular vehicle is the 2.2 liter diesel premium spec, pretty much the top train that you can find in New Zealand. And this particular vehicle is our demonstrator, finishing gray color, uh, option with the tow bar, obviously. And uh, standard, you get a power tailgate and it automatic goes up while the vehicle uh, well you get close to the key obviously press and hold that close itself just like that on the key plate and we can unlock the doors this is how they look like at the front so very nice leather seats with stitchings soft touch so the front position is my driving position this is how it looks like it's got good amount of space the seat sits pretty high, so my leg is very flat. And that's the armrest, nice and soft. At the back, you do get things that you can you can move the front seats just like you're your boss. And you do have USB charging ports and some storage underneath, charging again, and another USB charging underneath, and another USB charging. So tons of USB to, to charge, and air vents open and close. On this particular train, you do have heavy seats, two levels at the back. You do have both sound system speakers. This is how the front looks like. Very nice interior for sure. Um, also, you do have a panoramic sunroof. We can open it up later. So yeah, this is how the back looks like. And to jump to the back, easy way to pull this. Obviously, this allows you to drop it down and put this up. That allows you to fold it back. You can change the angle if you like. And press this button, just an easy unload. And we can pull this up just like this. Obviously, you can do it when you're at the back. And to jump in, you do have a step, a step up. Again, this is not the easiest one to do it. And it feels very cramped, obviously. It's not a big seven seater. It is for emergency seven seats. Yeah, again, you can pull this up as well. So it'll be like this. It is for small people. For me, it is very, very hard. Uh, it is very uncomfortable. You get air vents at the back. You get electric droppings, all that things. You get USB storage. But again, it is very uncomfortable for me. Um, my knees, all that things, is very cramped. You can see it. I'll, I'll barely fit if the seat drops back. So yeah, that's how the back looks like. And move the seats backwards, you can have the sliding. Obviously, if the second row passenger will accommodate you, you, they are able to move the seats a little bit forward, then you do have a little bit more space at the back. Otherwise, this is the most comfortable sitting position. All right, next thing we'll jump to the front. So you do have a key entry, press this button, the door opens up, and press this button, the door locks. Just open up again, jump into the front. So you do get things like electric seats with uh, lumbar support and memory settings and you do get heated and vent ventilated seats at the front so very very premium spec again very nice stitchings and this is how the front looks like it's jumping on the dual side you, again you have both sound systems um, and a nice um, door, door handle with the memory settings then you have a sort of interior lighting that lights up here and of course the dash on the side as well that you can change different colors close the door and you get a welcome sound on the Kia which is pretty cool foot on the brake press this button the vehicle will now start after these annoying beepings you do see the full digital dash so you can control these things um, now obviously you can change the display everything when you go into the system and another easy way to change the display is when you change eco sport smart controls you will be able to have access to things like um, different different driving mode plus different digital dash as well so that allows you to change that um, yeah very very nice display and very nice display steering it's got a big touch screen in the center um, and you can basically simply touch anything if you want to go to home systems 
you get navigation, map, radio, media screen. You, as standard, you get wireless, um, wireless charging, USB connection for your, um, for your Apple CarPlay Android Auto, and two more charging ports on the side. You get heated seats and ventilated seats at the front on both sides. That's a very, very premium feature. And a 360 camera that allows you the vehicle to have 360 display, which is click don't show. You can see how the 360 looks like. Parking sensors, heavy steering, auto hold for the parking brake. Along with that, you get obviously you get your handbrake. This is the driving mode to change. You also get terrain mode to change as well. Once you select on terrain, you can see snow, mud, and sand. And obviously, being a full drive vehicle, this is helpful. Otherwise, push it down again, go to drive mode, select. Two zone climate control just on the screen. Uh, other things will be fully on the screen itself. You get these, these different displays, and you get map again. You go to home screen. You will be able to swipe left and right to choose your choose your things. One cool feature about all the new uh, Kia vehicles with this similar sort of system, you get a thing called the sound of nature that will display the sound from, for example, ocean waves or other things. Um, I find it quite useful when um, my baby is sitting at, uh, sleeping at the back so that will be cool for white noise um, other than that this is how the screen looks like my only complaint is you'd have to reach really hard so if I'm sitting on my driving position if I'm gonna have to reach on the map or on the home screen button I will need to lean forward so I won't be able to reach it over there just by pulling my hands out it's a little bit annoying uh, being a right hand drive country we just have to deal with these things I guess um, other than that it is very very good screen uh, for the quality for the graphic for everything pretty much so yeah that's how the interior looks like we are pretty good to go for a drive oh like next thing would be the sunroof so obviously this is how the sunroof looks like and the cover opens all the way up as well obviously just the first uh, first half glass and again just push all the way cover along with that or we'll stop as well so, yeah it's definitely could cool have a panoramic sunroof for sure cool and we'll go for a drive all right and another cool feature is whenever you turn the signal light on either left or right the vehicle will show you all your cameras on the side utilizing the cameras on the side and you do have a nice heads-up display at the front that allows you to see your trip on um, digital speedo uh, adaptive cruise control and departure warning features plus it will display your blind spot detection warning on top of that display which I find really really handy so yeah that's how the interior features and let's go for a drive driving on comfort mode so which is just the basic mode you're driving um, the vehicle handles the road really well this is a little bit bumpy road a very old um, group road here but I guess it works okay the noise is not too bad but you do you do feel the, a little bit higher noise um, there's not much wind noise or anything like that let's go right from here
pretty well. Um, the, the vehicle engine is a 2.2 liter turbo diesel engine, so power is very good. This is the same drivetrain where you can find on a Hyundai Santa Fe, um, so pretty much the same thing. As you can see from the, or, or maybe it's a little bit hard to pick up um, on the heads-up display. You also dis it also display things like um, speed limit assistance systems that allows you to see a lot of information on the heads-up display. And on the road, the diesel noise is okay. Um, you obviously, you are gonna notice it compared to a petrol vehicle. Um, but as, not you are, as long as you're not accelerating really hard, um, the, the noise is okay for the for this vehicle office. The leveling of the noise is pretty okay for me. rough road somewhere you can find always in New Zealand um, it's not very well built but I think it works okay it's um, it is a comfort vehicle comf compared to a compared to a sporty vehicle in any way so I think they did, did an okay job on the, the suspension Just like the complaint to the screen system, when you, whenever you want to change anything about the um, air control, air conditioning controls, I always have to reach it. Um, again, just a little bit annoying on that part, um, but it's just things. At least it's got physical buttons or hard buttons. You don't need to go to the screen settings to change anything. Acceleration is okay, it's not too powerful, but it's definitely enough to overtake someone whenever you like. And when you accelerate again it will make a little bit noise, but it's for me it's not it's not bad at all. And as standard this vehicle has tons of features, things like again we've been talking about a, a blind spot detection, rear traffic cross alert. A 360 degree camera plus front and rear sensors. You also have things like pre collision warning, emergency braking, and adaptive cruise control, um, the land cape assist. You 
even a steering assist on motorway and you would also have speed sign speed limit information so that, that does help when you drive on different road conditions Over 60 k's per hour, you can see the lane keep assist engage on the front camera. You get a green light that indicates again, it will start doing thing, it will start give you assistance. And I think she should give way to me, it's too slow to pick up. We are gonna overtake again. This is very easy to overtake, um, the power is very easy to kick in. It, there's not much hesitation or anything like that. Obviously, being a diesel, the torque does kick in once you start drive up. So, and yeah, it's it's pretty easy to to overtake or to simply accelerate to 100k. Um, the road here I'm, I'm driving is sort of around Pukekohe in Auckland, in New Zealand. Um, it is quite rough rural road. Um, I'm pretty sure you'll pick up, you'll be able to pick up some road noise uh, from the camera. Um, but once you start driving on a slightly better surface, um, I would say that the noise cancelling will be a little bit better than what we have at the moment. And that's your land departure warning uh, on the side. seems like I don't really get much wind noise and the noise I'm getting is pretty much just tire noise or from the bottom of the chassis although the wind mirror is actually very large so I do get good amount of visibility unfortunately we are always there's a lot of one-way traffic on, on in New Zealand road so we have no way to test all the uh, blind spot detection, all that things. And we're now back to 70. Acceleration is very very easy to accelerate, which is great actually for the size of this vehicle. And I'm not I'm not even on sport mode. I'm just purely driving on on the comfort mode. Motorway, I'm safe. I'm not uh, having some damage. And when you turn camera, you can see the camera angle on the right, so that does help. Goes around corner pretty well as well. Um, it's just it's not much to complain on the road. Apart from you do get a little bit tire noise. And now I've 
switched on the sort of steering assist uh, motorway as well. You can, you can, I can feel it. The steering is trying to fight against me to turn around this corner. There you go. It's not bad, it picks up really easily. So I think I've pretty touched, talked much, um, talked about everything about it. Um, I think that will be us for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like a little bit more content about this, please comment or leave a like or subscribe to the channel. I'll try to do more videos on different vehicles and I hope it, it is a easy video to enjoy and if you are interested in this sort of vehicle to purchase if you're in New Zealand um, please feel free to contact me I'll leave my number and uh, contact details below and we'll see you in the next video Ooh. all right see you in the next video